Hello friends, Namaskar. Budget 2023 is now before us and a very important question which is in the mind of middle class or maybe any taxpayer is to in what terms did he or she get the benefit in the slab rates which is so claimed by the government of India in the budget speech. Through this video, I am trying to put up the changes in the slab rate which as a layman you would like to understand. Let me start my video with this particular aspect that you as an assessee understand that the slab rates are either old slab rates or new slab rate because the assessee has an option till now that he may choose to be governed, choose to be taxed as per the provision of new slab rate. A very important change with through this budget government is trying to bring about effective financial year 23-24 government is saying that we will by, by default treat you under the provision of new slab rate and if you opt for then we will cover you under the provision of old slab rate. Now what is the difference between an old slab rate and new slab rate regime my dear friend? In old slab rate you used to claim certain deductions. However, in new slab rate, the deductions are not allowed and there is a straight away taxation. So that is the basic difference. As an SSE, you have to decide usually before filing the return of income that for a relevant financial year, whether it is beneficial for you to claim the tax liability finally to be paid as per old slab rate or as per the new slab rate. Now here, since the question of this slide is which slab rate are changed, my simple answer to you is there is a change in the new slab rate but there is no change my dear friends in the old slab rate and how that change is there I will try to elaborate to you in my further discussion. Since I said that there is a change in the new slab rate only and that too in the new slab rate which is applicable as per the provision of section 115 BAC of Income Tax Act 1961 and it is proposed to insert a new subsection subsection 1A with effect from financial year 23-24 assessment year 24-25. Now what will be this new slab rate? There was prevailing slab rate earlier which was new slab rate but this new slab rate again being changed this is being proposed that now government is saying that up to 3 lakh rupees we will tax you nil. This is important because generally basic exemption limit is 2.5 lakh. But government is saying that now if you are earning up to 3 lakh rupees total income and you wish to opt for new slab rate, we will not tax you at all. If you are going beyond 3 lakh in your total income, then up to 6 lakh, then income above 3 lakh but up to 6 lakh would be taxed at 5%. Income above 6 lakh but up to 9 lakh will be taxed at 10%. Income above 9 lakh up to 12 lakh will be taxed at 15%. Income above 12 lakh to 15 lakh will be taxed at 20% and above 15 lakh will be taxed at 30 percent. So this is the new slab rate which is the revised one which I tried to put up before you. So as I said my dear friends that there is a change in the new slab rate what was prevailing up to financial year 22-23 and what will prevail effective financial year 23-24 for which this budget will apply. I am putting up a difference for your better understanding here that New slab rate which was prevailing up to financial year 22-23 up to 2.5 lakh tax liability was nil 2.5 to 5 it was 5 5 to 7.5 it was 10 7.5 to 10 lakh 15 percent 10 to 12.5 20 12.5 to 15 25 and above 15 lakh it was 30 percent. Now you see here these six different slabs have been now reduced to or proposed to be reduced to six. What are they? Up to 3 lakh tax liability shall be nil. 3 to 6 the tax liability shall be 5%. 6 to 9 it will be 10%. 9 to 12 it will be 15%. 12 to 15 it will be 20%. And above 15 it will be 30%. So this 25% rate which was somewhere existing in the previous new slab rate has now been removed at all under the new slab rate which is proposed effective financial year 23-24. Now let me try to tell this particular gaps understanding in form of you having any tax saving. Please understand it in this manner that if I assume that somebody who is having total income of rupees 15 lakh, exact 15 lakh, this is just for an example. In the previous slab rate which was prevailing up to financial year 22-23, the tax liability of such person at different new slab rates were 1,87,500. 
Uh, if the same person is now continuing to be into new slab rate with a revised new slab rate, his tax liability will be 1,50,000 rupees because of the changes in the slab rate. And because of this 1,50,000 rupees tax liability as compared to 1,87,500 as I highlighted here, 37,500 will be the ultimate tax saving. Rather, this will be furthermore because of the 4% HEC applicability. So what I am trying to put up my dear friends before you that if you continue to be governed under the new slab rate up to financial year 22-23 that is assessment year 23-24 and in the same regime you continue to remain but slab rates have been changed due to that reason if your income is up to 15 lakh you are going to save tax liability to this extent at least. So this can be said to be a relief to the taxpayers who are into new slab rate. Let me also put up before you a comparative tax structure difference between the new slab rate which is proposed to be revised and the old slab rate. One point which I would like to highlight here again that there is no change in old slab rate my dear friends at all. Say I try to put it up in this manner that as the government is saying proposed new slab rate up to 3 lakh tax liability shall be nil, 3 to 6 it will be 5 percent, 6 to 9 it will be 10 percent, 9 to 12 15 percent, 12 to 15 20 percent and above 15 lakh it will be 30 percent. However, the old slab rate continues which says that up to 2.5 lakh you will be in nil, 2.5 lakh to 5 5 percent, 5 lakh to 10 percent 20 percent and above 10 lakh it will be 30 percent tax liability which will be as has been in the past year. Now finally my dear friends a very interesting million dollar question the answer to which you may be interested in listening through me that okay Mr. Bhatia tell me as an assessee had I been actually benefited through this budget in terms of my tax saving? My dear friends if you talk about changes in the benefits which were allowable under section 80C that is 1.5 lakh investment, 24 clause B, interest on housing loan, ATCCD 1B, NPS related deduction of 50,000. No change at all has been done. Even no change has been done in section 87A rebate which was allowable to an old rate person, to an old rate person. Only benefits which are provided are to the new rate claimants. So you have to check again because this is an optional thing that assessee chooses old rate or new rate subject to this condition that previously old regime was by default applicable new regime was to be opted now government has made a shift it is saying now effective financial year 23 24 you will be by default into new regime if you claim then you will be into old regime so as an assessee before filing return you will assess whether your ultimate tax liability is lower in new regime or old regime and accordingly whatever is beneficial that you will opt for at the time of filing the return. So I leave it to you at the time of filing of return you can decide or at the time of your tax planning with the help of your consultant because tax law is not going to be easy. This is what is for sure. So as an assessor, you have to decide at the time of filing ITR which regime is beneficial and accordingly you can see whether you ultimately save tax or not. So wishing you all the best. Thank you. Jai Hind.